Hello and welcome everyone to the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, my name is Iron Rifle and, well, there was some comments, there was some emails to me that, well, I should continue with the Kerbals because, well, a couple of you did kind of like this game and, well, I'm liking it too. So, I did figure it out that I will do a series from, uh, well, from zero to hero stuff. So, uh, starting off by gathering some simple data, getting some new parts, uh, up to the point when we will go to the farthest corners of the space to explore the galaxy and beyond. Well, that sounds kind of like a Star Trek thingy, but well. Uh, so let's start a game. I already make a game, uh, resume saved, I don't know on YouTube, because the rest of the save uh, saves I will be probably using for, well, my own pleasure, or during the live stream. So uh, this one will be reserved only for me recording stuff on the on the YouTube. So let's uh, let's jump into it. And I must tell you that those episodes at first will be a very short ones, uh, very simple ones. And after some time, they will probably pick up on the in length, so they will be longer. Uh, they even might go to the point that we will have to be divided uh, into into smaller episodes. But well, we don't have any science right now. So, what I did read uh, on the forums, what people actually do at first is stuff very very simple, which means putting the uh, Solid rocket boosters, strapping it to to the capsule, pulling the parachute on it, and just launching it to uh, well, to the ocean, to the desert, to whatever. Uh, but from what I heard, the most scientific data value you get from well, whenever the uh, solid lo rocket booster can take you, is up to the uh, the ocean, which will hold something like twelve scientific data in it. So that's actually pretty much at the at the start. So uh, let's uh, let's call it the test flight. Let's save it and well, let's see what happens. Uh, as you did probably notice, uh, I did change the uh, stages because well, if I do have a power shoot at the same stage, I, I do have the uh, rocket booster. The parachute will open when the boosters ignite, so that might create, uh, well, kind of the trouble. And basically, the Kerbal Spaceport is located in the very, very beautiful uh, surroundings. Uh, on uh, To the north we have some, well, Africa-looking continent here. Uh, but we have some mountains, we have, uh, we have the, some islands, we have the ocean. Uh, so, now I will be trying to aim at the ocean to go for. So, well, let's scrub it up and let's uh, let's go. So already pointing at the right direction. Want to go to the ocean, picking a hell lot of speed in the process. Come on! I know we can become a bullet in this. Well, we are kind of bullet. 300 meters per second and increasing, but we will run out of fuel anytime soon. About now. So let's turn off the SAS, let's deploy the chute, and let's land in the ocean. And well, meantime, I can make a crew report out of that. Well, it do have everything you do have a scientific data in it. Uh, sometimes it will be more, sometimes it will be less. Uh, that totally depends how many times you do repeat the certain uh, certain situation. Uh, if I do cannot take this uh, crew report right now for like 50 times and send it all the data I get to the Kerbal Spaceport, eventually it will go from the value of 3.5 to the value of 0 0.1 and after that it will be worth nothing. No science because, well, there's nothing new about the screw report that will say something new we, how many times you can launch from the from the launch pad and well take the exactly the same uh, samples as you are taking as you already taken so what else there can be well that's the thing the science tree will allow you to go further and further and further and i must say i am very tempted because well we when we look on the map 
we do have the two moons that are orbiting the Kerbin. So we have the moon and the Minmus. And from what I saw and from, uh, well, what I've learned so far uh, in this game, going to the moon as the first target isn't that the bright of the idea. Uh, I did try to land on the moon a couple of times with my with my uh, with my ships, and I must say it's a very very difficult thing, especially right now. Well, right now, a couple of patches ago they did introduce the uh, surface uh, changes. So actually, right now the moon uh, do have all of those. Well, let me just try to zoom it zoom to it a bit. Oh, that's too much. All of those craters are actually fluctuation in the terrain, so you have to keep that in mind when you're landing, you want to find those uh, flat surfaces. While getting to Minimus is a bit more challenging, well it's not in the greatest spot, but it, well, we won't be able to see it. Uh, okay, but we will land it here, but getting to Minimus is actually pretty pretty much, uh, well, better and easier because well it do have more flat surfaces so that was our first flight let's EVA let's swim out from the ship let's take the EVA report I don't think the spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here wasn't it well if we would dive then the spacesuit would actually come in handy uh, well that's 3.2 scientific data here and the surface sample well the forum forum guys didn't lie it's worth scientific value of 12 so let's skip this data let me just quickly check if I can uh, get to the ship no I cannot so let's recover our Kerbal here so that's uh, that was worth 15.2 scientific data and let's recover our wreck the test flight let's recover that one and we also have the uh, crew report and well recovered vessel from a fly that's worth five scientific data uh, that's cool 8.5 science more making a total of 23 well that's that's a good thing so right now let's unlock some new things let's unlock the first tech tree which will give me what with it will give me a new fuel tank well that's nice so more fuel would be appreciated uh, a smaller tank well lower fuel can also be appreciated but the thing I am most excited about is actually the two things that come next the first one is the mystery goo containment unit uh, on in which you can observe the mystery goo how it behaves in a certain situation in a certain atmosphere levels uh, in a certain uh, well lower or in higher orbits and you can get science out of that and the second thing that I am very pleased to hell uh, to have in my uh, part the department is the stack decoupler because right now I will be able to build a rocket that will have stages and not just well the derpy thing that I just build uh, built in here although I do know that the Scott Manley did just release a video I believe it was today or well maybe earlier uh, earlier today uh, that using only those stock parts that you have right here he did manage to get to Minimus uh, take some samples from Minimus and get back to a carbon orbit uh, with the uh, well just saying hello to the moon having an encounter with the moon and safely landed and he gathered something like 300 or 360 data it did actually allowed him to progress well very far in the tree I'm not that good I am I am learning stuff I am seeing the game as it is right now so we did took our first uh, we spent our first five science on some and some fuel tanks and the mystery goo and the decoupler, the coupler. So well, let's see what else we could buy. Well, we could buy uh, the radial par radial mounted parachute, the landing struts and well landing legs, and the uh, engine that actually is a very good one because it is performing very very well in the uh, in the vacuum. So that's the thing to uh, to aim for uh, but 
about this later in the in the game and I do have 18 science so what I could do is well because I do have some new new parts uh, especially the mystery goo I will in my next video I will try to go uh, to the Kerbin orbit and I will try to make a ship that actually gets there so in order to make a ship that goes to the Kerbin orbit well I know I could use all of those parts and it will get to the uh, to the Kerbin orbit but I am well I do like to have some reserves but well I will go with the with the challenge uh, I will try to get uh, in the next video, uh, we will try to get to the to the orbit uh, with those parts. So, well, and believe me, it's not like I am joking with you right now. This is very very hard for me. Uh, I was trying to make them build some rockets and stuff like that, and it wasn't turning out for me very very good. I I don't know what is it, but well, I still make lots of lots of mistakes uh, in the flight, adjusting everything, and well. I will get there. I will I will eventually get there, but well let's uh let's challenge ourselves a bit. And right now I am thinking, well, it's time to end up the episode. Well I might no, I won't. A uh, next objective is to get the mystery goo. We just uh we just purchase with our science uh up to the Kerbin Kerbin orb orbit with only those parts. So that's a, that's a challenge for me, I'm not saying that's a challenge for all of you guys, but that's a challenge for me, and I will end this episode, this first episode on that one, uh, on that thing, so uh, you guys will be up to date whenever I do. Next episode will be probably sometimes next week, when I will try to get to the orbit, the noob, noob iron rifle in the Kerbin, Kerbin orbit. Well, let's see how this one will work out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Remember about liking the video if you like. Remember about subscribing to my channel. It's helping me a lot. And, well, that would be it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And Iron Rifle, out.